these prescriptions and CEO bonuses. HMOs like mine are trying to save your life. And Little Miss Drug Company here sashays into the doctor's office, flashes her perky bazookas, and the next thing you know, the doctor's prescribing heavy sedatives for every splinter or rash. And who gets to pay for this? The insurance companies, which we are obliged to mark up and pass on to you in denied coverage claims. Hey, let me in. You have bled protection money, old man. Big Vlad and his protection money? I so scared. What I need protection from? You think this door is going to save your shop? We're a goddamn immune system. I can lick the floor under a truck stop urinal, and it don't affect me a bit. And sometimes I do, for cash or whatever. That's the problem. Come on. HMOs because you can't see a doctor. Don't blame Profits or Nixon because you've got bad coverage. Bottom line, don't blame me because you're a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on Earth is socialized medicine. Sheesh. But can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see a doctor and didn't have to fill out reams of paperwork before they were denied a life-saving surgery because it cost money? It would be anarchy. There'd be lines for bread and we'd all be speaking Russian or Cuban. People would die. People are already dying because of paperwork and lack of coverage and their failure to understand the small print. Okay, Lennon, I understand. You want to live in a socialist utopia. Fair enough. Well, I don't. I want choices. I want access. I want buzzwords. I want dreams. I want the chance to live in a and say, I've got it. You haven't. I bet you wish you paid more attention in school, you little shit. Then knee you in the nuts. That dream, that dream is America. Stress me out. I am the homeo and the pathic together. You need. 